Hey guys, David with the Wholesalers Toolbox. I want to give you a few ways to build your cash buyers list. But first I want to talk real quick about why it's important to build your list first prior to going out and finding deals, or at least at the same time you're going out and finding deals. All right, so a lot of people will tell you that, you know, go out, find a good wholesale deal, and the buyers will line up for it. And that's, you know, that can be true. You know, you can go out and find a great deal and put it on Craigslist and get people to call you because the price is right or, you know, they're looking for properties. But here's what can go wrong with that strategy. The buyer you line up might not have the money to close on the deal, or he might try to go around you or, uh, you know, they might, you know, flake out for some reason or whatever. You don't, you don't know them. You don't know that they have a history of buying houses and that they can perform on it. So if you get somebody like that and they don't close on the house, then here's the problem you run into. You've got to go back to the seller and say, hey, I need a price reduction. Hey, I need some more time to sell your property or I just can't do the deal, you know. And that's a horrible call to make. When I first started in uh, in wholesaling, I had to do that a couple of times and, and you get sick in your stomach and you don't want to make the call and it's horrible. So building your cash buyers list first eliminates all that because if you build it with people that you vetted and you know can close on a deal, then that takes that worry off of you. Okay. Now, I also recently heard of the term reverse, not recently, but, uh, you know, after I got going, I heard the term reverse wholesaling. And I had to look it up because I wasn't really sure what it was. And reverse wholesaling is actually what I've always done. Okay. It's, it's you know, it's going getting your buyers first and then going out and looking for what they buy, all right? And, and to me, that's the logical way to do it, all right? If you've got a list of 10 or 20 investors and you know, you know, what areas they buy in, what they pay for properties that they're, you know, buying and holding them and making them rental properties or they're fixing them and flipping them, then you know exactly what to go shop for, you know, where to market, you know, what they're looking for, what they're paying, and you've got it all laid out in front of you. So, and it makes the whole process so much easier. So, do yourself a favor, build your list first, all right? Or at least do it at the same time you're starting your marketing campaign, all right? If, you, if you've if you got an idea where they're buying at, all right? So, build your list first. All right, now let's talk about how you build your list, all right? So, there's many strategies to do this. You know, you can... Put ads on Craigslist that you have a house for sale, all right? Uh, investor special, fixer up or whatever, cash only, get calls off of it. And then when the calls come in, you've got to vet the, you know, the, the investors or the buyers and make sure that, you know, they're buying where they're buying and all that stuff, okay? You can do the same thing with bandit signs. You can put bandit signs around your town and put the same thing on there. You know, investor special, must sell quick, cash only, get the calls coming and vet them, okay? You can go to real estate investor meetings, meet people, which is always a good thing to do, but, you know, specifically, you know, get up and say, hey, I'm a wholesaler, I'm looking for, for buyers. You know, if you're buying, you're fixing and flipping or whatever, you know, come talk to me and, uh, you know, and tell me about what you are looking for. All right, so that's a good way to do it. You can build a website specifically for cash buyers. You know, get properties, you know, 30 to 50% below market value. Uh, you know, just give me your name and your number and your email address and market that website. Okay, so on my website, thewholesalerstoolbox.com, in the Wholesaling University, I lay out all these different techniques so you can look at them decide what will work best for you. Now with all of those techniques, the one problem I have with all of them is that one, you you have to, you know, screen the people and have to try to figure out, you know, who's who. But the biggest thing is that you don't know that you're getting to all the cash buyers, all right? I, I've got cash buyers that I work with in, in my town that I know for a fact, you know, 
they're not driving around town, you know, looking at bandit signs and they're not looking on Craigslist. They're, you know, they do, you know, dozens of deals a month. They've got these big property management companies and all this stuff and they're not goofing around online and they're not, you know, driving around. Uh, I don't even think a few of them go to, you know, real estate investor meetings. So they're using all those strategies. There are going to be some investors you don't get to. That's why the one way that I use is is uh, what I think is the best is getting a cash buyer data feed, okay? And with a cash buyer data feed, they get all the information from public records on all the transactions that are taking place that there's not a mortgage associated with. So you know it's a cash deal, okay? So on a cash buyer data feed, you've got every single cash buyer, what they paid for the house, the address of the house, the investor's address, their company name, all you know, all that information. So you know who every player is and you know how many houses they're buying. All right. So you can go target the guys that are buying, you know, 50 houses a month and not worry about the guy that's buying one a year. All right. So with all the other techniques, it's, you know, it, there's it's time consuming and you have to vet the people and all this with the cash buyer data feed you know they're for real they're really buying and you just have to reach out to them you know get their email address so you can email them the deals as they come in so but but if you don't have the money to spend for that the other strategies work well just to get going to get your you know to get your list going so if you want to build your cash buyers list you know, hop on my website, thewholesalerstoolbox.com, go into the Wholesale University. I've got a cash buyer script that you can use to vet the uh, the buyers that you're, you're dealing with. And you can look at all the strategies used to build your cash buyers list. And you can use what works best for you. Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about, about building a cash buyers list. Check out the website, thewholesalerstoolbox.com. I'll put links to everything below. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the subscribe button and then the little bell and you'll get notifications of any time I do a, a new video. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.